Hey, welcome back, gummies. Uh, so, what has been going on this last couple weeks? Um, uh, well, we still got some projects going on at home. Um, uh, might have guessed. COVID-19 is still going on, obviously. I hope everyone is still safe. Everyone you know is still safe. Uh, if, uh, if they're, they did get sick, I hope they're on the mend and recovering and doing better. Uh, I obviously am doing my normal thing of heading into work. Uh, mommy and the, our gummies are at home. They're working on projects. Uh, in fact, I think we got a couple of projects coming up. Which mommy's still deciding on what we're going to do. Either we're going to be switching the art room and the nursery. So little sir will get his new bedroom. Or it's going to be toy room clean out. Or maybe we'll do both. Um, I'm not sure which one's going to come first. But the other nice thing is, I know last fall I did the video of uh, wrapping our windows and plastic wrapping them to show you how to insulate them. Well, we're finally to that point where we can actually take the plastic off. I cannot wait. I want to be able to open the windows, get fresh air in, let the smell of spring and the sun and everything else open up the house. How many of you love when you can finally open up your house and get that fresh air in and just, you know, take that deep breath? And... Is that just a Midwest thing? Um, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, notice that we've had a couple new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us here at Gummy G Blanket. Um, if you have friends and family, if you like our videos and you, you think they'd like us, send them a share. Please share our videos, let them know what's going on. We are not getting paid for this. We are not sponsored in any way. We are still just a family channel that's hosting and having fun. Um, so, how about you, you let us know in the comments below if you're watching this. What should we do first? What would you like to see first? Switching the rooms over? Uh, cleaning out the toy room and getting stuff ready for donations? Or... Well, plastic, we only have uh, a little bit of that. I'm just going to mix that in with one of those videos, whichever one you guys want. Uh, so, the question will be, what do you want to see first? And hopefully you'll get us some suggestions. We'll get those filmed for you pretty quick. Otherwise, I can definitely tell you spring is in the air. It feels so good after that last video I did where it was snowing in the morning. I said we're supposed to have a couple days of like cold weather. Uh, you know, close to freezing here in the next couple days, but other than that, we should be back up into pre planting season. Uh, the farmers in our area are tilling the fields, they're, they're pooping on the fields, otherwise known as fertilizing. <laughs> um, and you know, growing up in this area, I can honestly tell you that I was always sold fertilizer didn't smell sneaky, didn't smell smelly, no, it did, uh, and does. It was known as the smell of money. To a farmer, that is the smell of money. It means that the uh, season has begun, that the, the fields are thawing out, that they can start putting plants in there, and we can start making food and crops for people to eat. The smell of money. Oh, speaking of spring rain, it looks like it must have just drizzled through here before I got here because the roads are all nice and shiny and wet. Um, I still love my job. I love the fact that even during this COVID-19, I am able to go into work. That was a bit of a tangent. Where was I? Uh, projects, spring weather, smell, smell money. That's it. Farmers. Um, where... What is the most popular crop in your area where you live? Uh, what is what is it that the farmers like to grow uh, in your area? I'm kind of curious. Our area in the Midwest is coin. Uh, I cannot talk. <clears throat> in my in our area in the Midwest, it is corn, beans, and uh, sprouts. So. Um, and then just to the north of us is a lot of like cranberries, um, 
but yeah, still primarily corn, beans, and uh, and and like sprouts type things. Um, so let us know what is it that they grow in your area. Uh, anyways, I hope you're doing well during this this situation with COVID-19, the coronavirus. I hope you are feeling well. I hope you are surviving well. I hope you have a good stockpile of food if you're in an area where you cannot travel. Oh, and it looks like somebody's doing some brush burning. It's a good day to do that. Uh, it's a good way to help recycle. Uh, if you don't live in the country, you might not understand why a lot of people will burn the grass along the side of the road. It actually helps promote nutrients in the soil and helps keep the, the soil healthy. Um, it's done in a controlled, when done in a controlled way, uh, it helps new growth and uh, helps prevent invasive species from taking a hold. Um, the, the more predominant and natural species of that area will be able to grow uh, versus something that might get brought in on a vehicle, you know, that was stuck on a, a grill or on an undercarriage and the seed fell off while traveling, uh, or traveled by, on a bird or some type of animal from an area that isn't normally in this area. Uh, but I'm starting to see all the leaf sprouts. Anyways, going back to the, the happy stuff. Uh, trees are starting to sprout out, grass is turning green, uh, they're doing the brush burning, which helps the grass turn green faster and also helps the country culverts and ditches not get overgrown so that they can shed water properly so you don't have small pools of um, like uh, stagnant water and uh, long grass which can lead to places where like mosquitoes or flooding can happen in areas if water shedding isn't done right. Uh, but also, I just love the smell of grass when it's done like that because it reminds me of campfires and camping, little bonfires with friends and family. It tells me it's spring again. You know, the season of new birth re and rebirth. And uh, so, anyways, um, I've been rambling. This is just a kind of an update. I hope you guys are well, you're surviving COVID. 18, uh, COVID-19 here in the year 2020. Uh, I hope everyone that you know is healthy and safe and has food in their belly. Um, from our family at Gummy, happy spring. Stay safe. Keep watching. We have those videos coming up. We're, we're working on it. Uh, can't always get to the editing right away. We're trying to get to a more productive schedule. Uh, with the kids being home and my work schedule still leaves mommy by herself with the, two, with the hurricane and the tornado and so sometimes it's not just working on projects it's just trying to keep the chaos under control and keep the house clean um, which I love mommy for because she works really really hard to do it um, and our kids work really, really hard to undo it. So when it's two to one, it's not always a fair battle. And yes, I do help you know. I, the one thing I do love about our, our Mayberry town is that we have great neighbors that are close by. Uh, and we all keep an eye on each other. Um, even nowadays, with trying to come together as a community, it seems like it's working better. We're, we, we keep the safe distance between each other. And we, uh, you know, we're not interacting as much as we normally do, but we're still keeping an eye on each other. We're making sure everyone's safe. So maybe that's something else I should have put up and brought up earlier is, you know, you don't have to put yourself in harm's way, but, you know, this is a great opportunity to know thy neighbor uh, you know, to, to coin the old phrase, uh, know, know your neighbor and make sure that they're okay, make sure that they're doing all right, 
and you know make sure that they're healthy <sighs> all right I've been rambling for quite a bit here so I think I'm gonna take a break and I'll let you see some of this till the farmland that I'm driving through tonight country roads again it's not super green yet but and it's kind of getting gray and kind of rainy but that's okay um, just wanted to say that all of us here at gummy g blanket we hope you are happy healthy safe thank you to all essential personnel um, no matter what the job is if you are still working to help keep country moving uh, thank you we love you and <laughs> uh, I, I know it's not fun right now um, try to find some happiness try to find some love uh, try to, to, to find that the bright side of anything that you can right now uh, again thank you to any of you that are considered essential personnel in whatever field you're in be it medical be it retail uh, be it online purchase, uh, online purchase, order fulfillment, um, be it janitorial, be it, you know, working at an office like myself that is 24 by 7. Um, thank you. Thank you for helping keep our country going and, uh, this shoot this too shall pass um, <laughs> this too shall pass we'll get through this together stronger closer and as a 
as a whole, I think we will come out stronger. Um, so, have a gummy-tastic, gummy-tastic, gummy-rific, gummy-excellent day.